Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another video. So today we're going to be making a special video. We're going to be going over the China Riven Electrocute setup. I'm going to be showing my version of this. So this is going to be a guide for Electrocute Riven guys. Uh, for the runes I would recommend going Electrocute in this page. Going with Sudden Impacts. An eyeball collection and an ingenious hunter. Especially this one is very good because we're going to be playing with the ghost blade with the setup as well. Also, magical footwear with the cosmic insight taking one CDR, AD, and armor. Now for the entire full build, I'm gonna leave the entire full build inside of the description. So, with that being said, guys, we're actually playing against the Darius right now. Now, usually, if you play against the Darius, uh, you don't want to fight Darius level 1, except when he's starting with Q, and he's, like, kind of misplaying a lot. This Darius also plays with TP. That's something that I haven't seen in a really long time, actually. Most Darius players, they always play with Ghosts, but this guy in specific is playing with Bone Plating and TP, which is very, very interesting. All right. Usually against Darius, the best thing you can do is actually letting the Darius push in the lane at uh, level 1. You don't want to fight Darius level 1 because his passive, together with his W, is way too strong. Even if he hits a Q on you, you're probably going to lose that unless you, like, sidestep it. Or, like, you Q directly into him. We're just going to let this wave be frozen around my side of the lane for the uh, pre-level 3. As soon as we get to level 3 is when this uh, when this lane actually starts off. Like at level 1 and 2 you can't really trade Darius, but it's going to get really good soon. Alright. Probably going to miss just a few like that one. I'm going to miss that one for sure. Nothing I could do about that CS right there. Nocturne is actually taking the blue buff right now. I'm going to have to keep this in mind. Because there could probably be a fight happening in the river soon. Alright, I'm going to start pushing this one. There might be a really big fight coming in the river very soon. And I want to have to push because of this. Now we can also start trading the Darius. So basically the best way to trade a Darius. Especially if you have Electrocute, it's even better. Is basically like short trading Darius the moment he, tr he tries to take a CS. If you trade Darius, as long as you don't get grabbed while you trade him and move backwards as long as you don't get grabbed there technically you win every tr every short trade against him like he's, he's got to do like a really massive uh grab outplay in order to win that actually the trick is to not get grabbed at the moment you try to trade him whether it's at the start or at the end as long as you don't get grabbed you should be okay in this case, I couldn't do like an auto, because if I do like an auto, I'll get grabbed again. You really want to avoid the grab at all costs. Even if it means like losing farm for it. Alright. Can trade him right there. We gotta make sure to like... You don't just want to trade Darius only just with a short trade, but you kind of want to trade in the moment when you have to take a CS too. It's a really smart way of farming up while also... Getting the electric traits off. That's the bone planning of Darius. Okay. I'm not gonna walk up here right now because he could grab me again. This matchup is kind of like all about um, playing it to perfection so he doesn't actually grab you. Like the grab of Darius is pretty much the most scary thing about him, that's all. Alright, let's go back to base. We are going to afford um, three long swords so we can max measure damage. This guy actually did decide to stay in the river. So um, we will be missing like at least two or three CS. We will see. Perhaps I think we will lose only one, one or two, which is fine. He's going to go back to base right now as well. That's great. All right. We missed like 3 at most, but we did get XP up from the 4th one. Alright, I'm going to be putting this lane into a slow push. As soon as the next wave arrives, I want the lane to be pushed out uh, completely. Now, I see like a really big fight happening on bottom. Uh, 
Okay, I'm glad I did actually- I'm very glad that I did not TP to this. Because I was- I was about to TP that one, but... I'm very glad that I didn't, because the wave is currently pushing towards Darius. Okay. That's the Electric Cube proc again. That's the Q of Darius. Alright, now we can trade him again. Especially like Darius when bone planting is something that you should be really careful with because you gotta proc that first before ever getting into a fight with him. Alright. Let's see right here. I want the lane to be pushing towards me again, so I'll just allow him to push. We can't fight him properly if the wave is sitting here. Nice. That's a proc right there. Okay, we're gonna all in this guy. Alright, there we go. This is pretty much the kind of way how you want to be playing against a Darius. If you get Darius below a certain amount of health, right right now in this case he was about 70% health. We just had a really good trade off and he decided to grab around this time. Most of the time you can win this lane just by playing very, very confident. And what I mean with this is basically like the moment that Darius will grab you. Instead of like going backwards trying to reset, you can actually pop your ultimate and go in for the all in completely. It's something that like lots of Darius players make a mistake with. Uh, with. Lots of Darius players always make the mistake to accidentally uh, extend slightly too far. And it's up to you to know when the... It's, up, it's all up to you to know the limits about this matchup pretty much. Alright. Darius is going to go through the river. He's going to be going to my jungler. I can't really move up here right now. Like, I couldn't leave the farm behind right there. He's probably going to come around here. I could maybe try to block him off here. Okay, I can't continue because he would otherwise actually hit an entire full combo on me. But we can try to dive him though. Alright. Let's see if we can dive him. My ultimate is coming back in about 25 seconds. Okay. I'm doing like a really long extended Q right there. Just so I won't get like wrapped by him. Alright. I got my ultimate back very soon. I'm just gonna go back again. I don't wanna get grabbed so. It's all about like his E. It's pretty much what it's all about. Now we can actually dive him. Okay. Alright, we got him. It's it's with the sacrifice of actually dying myself. I think if I played this a little bit differently, I've actually wanted to like get grabbed by Darius purposely and then just literally like walking him over inside the turret. But it didn't work very well. I, sh I should have done it like slightly differently and I would have been alive. It was kind of risky to do, but whatever. It's fine. I'll be getting my boots very soon. The boots is going to allow me to uh, potentially like fight this Darius a lot more easy too. The more movement speed you get like eventually, the, the easier it is to like sidestep those grabs. Alright. Currently, in terms of like play things, we don't really have anything yet. So like, sooner or later, when we kill him, we can get like lots of play things. He doesn't have any uh, play things yet either. All right. As long as he doesn't get any grabs, I'm fine with it. Also, like before you guys ask, like Riven actually outskills Darius. Just so you guys know. At some point in the game, about. Two to three items in the game is where uh, Riven actually does outskill this champion very hard. Really comes down to like what kind of summoner spell he's actually playing with. Looks okay. Looks like it's going pretty decent for my team right now. All right. I don't want to get grabbed, so I'll just stay back again. We will be getting my Ghost Blade very soon, and the Ghost Blade is going to work very perfectly with um, with the Electrocute build too. 
Nice. They're having a fight right here. Don't have my TP though, so I can't do anything about it. Darius is actually moving up there, so this is my opportunity. I'm gonna take my opportunity right away right now. Might be a chance that Darius is gonna come back top lane right now, but I could just walk around it. As long as I get platings, it's fine. Okay. Now we have the plating advantage. I got one plating, he does not have. Perfect. He might show up here. I'm kind of hoping for Darius to like TP out of this, but he didn't use it. Okay. Back into like the safe position right now. The, the platings will go away in about two minutes. Most importantly right now, it's all about Darius not getting those platings. Okay, he will probably just walk back into lane right now and press Q on the entire wave. I'll just pretend like I'm gonna go back to base so he's actually forcing the wave. I'm kinda hoping he was- yeah, okay. There we go. This is like a little trick that most people don't use. Just pretend like you're gonna go back to base, let him push. It gives you a free pass to actually, like, make him push for free. Now I have to Ghost Blade. Alright, now we can get this game going. Now this is the part in the game where we can actually start to do something properly. For instance, what I'm talking about. It's about the 13 minute mark right now. I have my TP back up in about 30 seconds, which means in about 30 seconds, I'll be able to make a really huge play around the map. It's all about waiting for the uh, for the proper like TP play right now. Also, like maybe we can get the last plating here. Uh, I mean, one of the last platings before it's 14 minute. Let's see what we can do here. Hopefully we can get at least one more plating. All right, we will have at least one. That's really good. So we have two platings right now. Darius has no platings at all. And we have two kills. He has one kill. So we're having an advantage here now. We will soon be able to like all in this guy very easily. Like electrocute against Darius is may perhaps it might not be the best setup. Like Conqueror is better. Uh, but overall like electrocute works pretty well in many other matchups. I just picked Electrocute this game specifically for the video. But I would I would always recommend going uh, Concrete most of the time when playing this areas. But against other specific matchups, you can go Electrocute and like pop off very well. But anyways, for the build that we're currently running right now with the Ghost Plate and stuff, this is pretty much what I would recommend going if you're playing with Electrocute. Alright, it's about the 14 minute mark right now, so the platings are gone. Now we can actually like make a huge play around the map. I'm just gonna push this in right now. There we go. And probably TP bottom or something like that. I kind of wanna look into an, an opportunity to dive them under turret. That would be the best thing right now. You can also kill this guy right now. Nocturne is here for, the, for, it's been a while since he's been here. Okay. He's a little bit too tanky. He's going to go like Ninja Tabis with lots of armor already. Can't do much about it. Their jungler is bottom. Okay. We will definitely get our opportunities very soon. It just takes a little while. They're actually spawning the hero bot uh, bottom too. Let's push this in. If Darius wants to, he could actually walk up to me right now. If Darius was really smarter, he could have stopped me right there pushing that wave. But now we can go back. This is perfect. I can get the catch on this guy right now. Alright, here we go. Get the ninja tubbies, and now we're going to be chasing these guys from behind. Here we go. I got my flesh too. Oh, I was kind of hoping that I could catch him too, but Darius was right there. I wanted to flash on Nidalee instantly and get her before Darius uh, gets over there. Hmm. 
pretty close. Alright, I got him. I got him too. There we go. At the end of the day, we managed to get every kill, so that's perfect. My team actually died for it, but it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Now I can push up the next wave and then go back to base right after. Yon does... Uh, he's actually coming bottom right now, so I've got to be really careful here. Yeah, I can't continue pushing. This, uh, this, this new champion guy... He was right here clearing my ward. Alright. Let's get the next item. Which is the black lever. And then... I will also swap the red trinket with the, I mean the yellow one with the red one. There's going to be a fight here again. I got my ultimate up in about 15 seconds from now. yohan has been caught already. That's perfect. Alright. Leon is here too. We can take, uh, we can definitely take this dragon right now. There's Needly. Right. Nocturne did not actually jump towards me. I can't really jump on them because Leona will CC me and Needly will throw a spear at me. We just have to force this one. Alright, let's take it. Darius is topside, so he does not have TP. We're going to be staying bottom. We're going to be pressuring this thing as much as possible right now. As soon as like everybody groups around mid, I'm going to be uh, trying to flank them. Everybody's currently missing on the map, so I'm not going to go too far. But I will try to like catch that drone. If we are kind of lucky, Leona is probably going to pass here. I got her. Perfect. Yon is coming bot lane though. So we're gonna clean that up. Before going back to base, Darius is currently here. Before going back to base, we're gonna be farming out this camp here as well. We're just gonna keep on farming up. Farming up jungle camps is especially good because it allows you to snowball further without like losing any farm. Nice. Darius is keep he will keep on pushing here. Alright. Hopefully he's not gonna continue pushing this. Otherwise I'm gonna have to like Yeah, I have to wait a little bit longer. I kinda need my teammates here. Alright, we got him. Perfect. He kind of overextended there. He thought that he thought that I was super scared, but I just got my teammates with me here. Okay. Pushed this all the way, and I'm gonna be going back to base afterwards. Nice. Maybe we can get a catch here again. It's kind of unlikely. I'll just go back right now. I don't think Needle is gonna come over here to just farm out. I'll sell that and we get this. So usually if I play setups like Electrocute, what I like to do is go in like Ghost Blade into Black Lever and then into Hydra. Especially because like this allows for like doing single combos and getting kills for free. Uh, let's fight this. Fight this easily. I don't think they have a ward in here. I was just gonna drag them out towards me. They're not really stopping though. I kind of tried to like drag Leona into jumping on me. So that I could turn around to get her with my team. But she didn't actually fall for it. That's the problem. Alright, let's go bottom. He's just... He's gonna get caught in there. 
Not very good. Darius has been getting like a little bit too many like unnecessary kills, but still not worried. It's okay if Darius gets kills, you can still kite him down very easily. Let's get this turret down. Push one more wave, and then we can go back to base afterwards. I think before going back to base, I'm gonna try to like cheese them. There's a wart down here. Can't do much because they know when, that I'm here. Echo is actually bottom right here. These guys are currently here. I think they might actually start the Baron right now. Hmm. Ah. There's Nidalee's here too, and I might get... Leona's also chasing me down at the moment, so... All of them are bottom. Start Baron. Every, like, all of them are currently bottom. All of them. All of them are chasing me down at the moment. This is the opportunity for my team to get this Baron right now, especially because I have TP. Nice. They're starting the dragon right now, but we're getting the Baron in return for this one, which is fine. It's a good trade. It's definitely a good trade because we might be able to like get up to the inhib right now. Very good. All right. They still haven't taken that dragon yet. Okay, they got it now. We got this guy. Nice. Perfect. Yon is also right here. I think Darius is probably with him. No, he's actually alone. Okay. Thank you very much. If my team decides to force mid right now, we should be able to like... Being able to like get in hip at least. We'll see about it. Let's get another wave here. All right, there's about a f there's actually a fight right now, right here. They got it perfectly. Okay, let's force that bottom right now. We can force two lanes at once right now. Actually, this guy's gonna buff up the creeps right here. I'm we're just gonna buff up mid lane. Got my ultimate back up in about 15 seconds from now. Nice ward. Perhaps maybe they could also have a red buff. Oh yeah. They have one. It's only a matter of waiting right now. They will, they will eventually make a mistake. I'm just kind of like waiting out to see when they get out of the lane. So meanwhile, like, I'm gonna be taking some camps here. I think we can get something off here. They have no vision in this in this bush. No, they don't have it. Leona is definitely not alone. If you see Leona players. Count me on when I say this, they're never alone. There's always people around Leona players. It's a champion that's like designed to engage. Okay. Got him. That's the Darius grab. 
Okay, I'll have to get out of the uh, Darius ultimate. He could have killed me right there if I kept going there. Nice. Alright. I think we could even finish here. Yeah, we have about 20 seconds to actually finish this. Nice. Alright, this surrender. Anyways, this is pretty much how you play. Like, Riven with Electrocute. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, don't forget to check out all my live stream if you actually want to see like more Challenger Riven gameplay and all that stuff. I'm basically streaming like six times a week right now. Anyways, thank you for watching today. And I'll catch you guys up in the next video. Peace.